left ones here. Hello viewers, this is Alimu TV, a station where you get to watch and learn. Your teacher today is teacher Roger Muchira, taking you through history and the topic of discussion is development of agriculture and specifically early agriculture in Egypt. Welcome all and let us learn. Now we did talk of early agriculture in Mesopotamia, but again today we're getting to early agriculture in Egypt. Let us enjoy the lesson and take notes where necessary. Welcome all. Now, by the end of the lesson class, what do we expect as learners? Good. We need to be able to state the factors for the success of early agriculture in Egypt. What are some of these factors that made it, made it possible for early agriculture to be uh, in, in, in Egypt rather? Right? Now today we'll get to look at what are some of those factors that facilitated the success of early agriculture in Egypt. Now class, can we get to look at some of those factors? One, Egypt is known for early agriculture and civilization. Yes, when you talk of civilization, right? Now the Egyptian people had settled along the river Nile. And the one thing you must get to know that the river Nile was one of the reasons for the success of early agriculture in Egypt. Reason being, it provided enough water for irrigation. And also, whenever the river, the river Nile flooded, right, it could, it could take silt to the, to the farms. And, and one thing we know that silt is one of the fertile soils we have. Now, the Egyptian people had settled along the river Nile. In our class, what are some of these factors for the success of early agriculture in Egypt? Can you get to name them? One, the river Nile provided the water needed for irrigation. And the class, have, uh, uh, I've said that, that uh, the river Nile provided enough water for irrigation, meaning there was adequate water throughout the season. Egypt did not experience any drought season in, in whatever way because there was enough water from the river, river Nile. And also, the Nile was well protected against foreign invasion by the Libyan desert to the west, right? Meaning there is no way the Libyan desert could encroach the river Nile. There is no way, right? So it was well protect, uh, protected against foreign in invasion by the, 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 by the Libyan desert to the west. And also, class, another reason for the, for the success or another factor for the success is that there was availability of indigenous crops and animals. For example, let us name some of those animals or some of those crops. For example, we had barley, we had wheat, we had rice, we had sorghum. Good. What of the animals? We have cattle, that is cows, sheep, goats, not forgetting the, 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 the camels, right? Now, that availability of indigenous crops and animals also made it success for early agriculture in Egypt. Now, also class. There was also proximity to Mesopotamia, which was the center of agricultural development, right? And we did say that Mesopotamia was one of the earliest centers uh, that began agriculture. Now, Egypt to Mesopotamia was, was close, and now due to trade, right, they had to exchange ideas, and that is, why, that, that is how agriculture began in Egypt. Another, an, another factor that we had talked earlier, I had explained earlier when I was introducing, is that the Nile overflowed its banks annually, right? And what happens when the river over, overflows? You all know that, right? The floods brought silt into the fields. It must be, however, noted that during the dry seasons, they irrigated their farms by constructing dikes, which led water into the farms. Now, these are dikes that also could lead water into their farms. Not forgetting the mode of... Uh, irrigation they used, what was that? They used a mode of irrigation we call Shaduf method of irrigation. What is this Shaduf method of irrigation? Look at that. Yes, if you, can, you can clearly see, you can see someone holding a bucket, right? There is a long, a long, a long kind of stick, right? At the tip, it's tied with a very heavy stone, right? 
Now, I won't tell you what Shadoof method of irrigation is for now. Reason being, I want, uh, I, want you, I want you learners to go back to your research. Can you get to research what was this Shadoof irrigation? Now, I've shown you the images of uh, Shadoof irrigation, how it was, right? Look at that, right? Now, I want you to connect those dots using your research book, right? Go get to know what is this Shadoof method of irrigation. And now that leads us to our assignment that what method of irrigation was used in Egypt. And as I've told you, get to our research book, our research material, which is Evolving World History and the Government, the book one, Oxford University Press. Thank you for watching LMU TV, a station where you get to watch and learn. Always keep in touch. We have our contact address. It is there on your screen. Kindly send your feedback via SMS and watch our lessons online via YouTube channel. Always, when you watch those videos, like and also subscribe to Elimu TV where we to watch and learn.